technology, the truth. I bought a couple of frames. I bought a chameleon. Yeah. Uh, I bought a schizo. Hmm. I, saw, I saw one that you, you were looking at on on the drone junkyard yeah. page. Well, that was the which was the one with the had all the team. Hey guys, it's Carl from Arsenal Robotics here, and today we are here at Helsby at the. Uh, Get me! <laughs> we're here at the uh, radar controlled okay, model flying is. site. This is the little bike I've made. It's a biplane made from a little glider. Um, every bone in my body has told me not to make this aircraft because if you were going to make a biplane, the last plane you would try and make out of is a glider. That's why everyone's laughing. Yeah, bouncing up and down. <laughs> <laughs> right, so our transmitter's on. We've got a 750 milliamp hour battery inside this, a 2450 kV motor, and regular servos and gear. Okay. That's a lovely plane. tail so if this does work I will post you know the, uh, the build of it well basically this is a tail that you've never seen probably on a little glider before because they're gliders they're not aerobatic planes check out the amount of uh, carbon fiber in our wing as well <laughs> right. which way is our wing coming that way we don't know if it's going to work or not, so it's either going to work or it's going to smash. Here we go. Whoa! It's porpoising, but it works. Lovely. Oh, yes! It's a little bit tail heavy. I thought it'd be nose heavy. Let's try some aerobatics. Oh, that rudder is lively. It's a little bit nose heavy. Uh, tail heavy, sorry. I thought it'd be nose heavy. I'm going to bring this in before it crashes and we'll add some weight to the nose. Oh, greasy. Nice. <laughs> on the nose and hopefully we'll get another flight before the camera battery dies because I know those batteries are very very low um, but success it works it flies it's really nice quite nice handling even for 3d um, so I will do some measurements and I will post you know um, measurements and build uh, instructions on the little glider page <laughs> Yeah. A lot better than it was before. Yeah. It'll feel better, Carl. Yeah. That'll be better for prop hanging. 
How do they do that manoeuvre when they sort of like spin so Yeah, I know that. You want to see it. You want to. I like that. Yeah, but the elevators are there. Yeah. I'm trying to do something there again. It's always got to be inverted. Yeah. No, no, no. It's no, no. Well, I know that, like, huh? Yeah, I could probably still do a little bit more nose weight. Maybe it's just yeah. a trim on the elevator, maybe. Let's try a four point roll. Oh, it didn't like that. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it, that glider tail. It really needs to be a short, stocky tail, yeah. This is that glider tail. Uh. And break down. Does not do knife edge. No. Try that again. Hello. Oh, oh. That'll be it. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> ah, look at that. I'll be able to fix that in five minutes. That that's only broke there because there's no carbon fibre in there. So if you build one of these yourself. Uh, yeah, make sure you put some carbon fibre in the tail because the first time you crash it, it's just going to snap. <laughs> well, there you go. A little guy that works. You know, if, if the pilot isn't too cocky in front of the camera, but it works. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, join us next time on RC Robotics. Uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, you'll see some more videos of the little biplane. So see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.